everybody I'm back from North Yorkshire and while I was there Dan and I went to York there is a shop there dedicated to Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts which is called the shop that must not be named I bought three wizard bars they were £2.99 each I bought three different flavours so let's get down to it and try them the first one I'm going to try is the wizard's dark chocolate it supports Merlin's magic wand two pence per bar donated to Merlin's Magic Wand Children's Charity at www.merlinsmagicwand.org It's got the ingredients on the back. It says it's 74% minimum cocoa solids, so it should be very, very chocolatey. It has cocoa mass, sugar, cocoa butter, honey, soya, lecithin, natural vanilla flavouring, and caramel flavouring so it's not full of loads of stuff allergens may contain nuts or wheat gluten and milk it's probably produced in a factory that uses nuts and wheat and milk it's best before end 26th of february 2026 so it's a good long sell by date it says it's luxury chocolate infused with magic from the United Kingdom's most magical city. Proudly based in York, an ancient city home to the Minster, the Shambles, Clifford's Tower and the Wizard's Magic Chocolate. Also the planet's finest street performers too. It's nicely wrapped. These would make nice gifts for anyone into Harry Potter or magic and it's in nice squares as well it's a 55 gram bar so it's quite expensive if you compare it with something like Tony's Chocoloni which is £2.50 on special offer or £3 regular price for a 180 gram bar which melts beautifully i've used it for making truffles and tempering chocolate i haven't tried tempering with this i might do at some point i'll break a couple of squares off mm. Mm. Actually, the chocolate is really good. It's high quality. It's good that it's not too thick. It's got a slight bitterness, but it's not unpleasant. It's got just enough sugar coming through. Mmm. I like that. And it's very good. I think that would probably temper quite well. I might try tempering some of it just to see how it melts. Put a bowl over a pan of gently simmering water. Just on a very low heat. Break the chocolate into squares or small chunks and keep an eye on it. And as soon as it's melted, take it off the heat and allow it to cool before pouring or coating. Mm. Some chocolate, that's 74%, I can't eat, it's too bitter. This is perfect. And it's got sugar and honey in. The honey doesn't come through really strong. I can just taste it slightly it's just got a hint there the next one i'll try is this this is zero percent sugar this one is orange chocolate 
again, 2% per bar is no donated to Merlin's Magic Wand. It's vegan friendly, plant based, dairy free and high fibre. You could also eat it if you're diabetic as well or need to be on a low sugar diet for other reasons. This one contains cocoa mass, sweetener which is maltitol, cocoa butter, emulsifier is soya lecithin, natural vanilla flavouring, essential orange oil. That's nice. It says for allergens see ingredients in bold which is soya. It's made at the Wizard's Magic, Unit 2A, Harwood Road, Northminster Business Park, Upper Popton, York, YA266 QU. York has been a chocolate capital of the UK for centuries. It's famous, of course, for Terry's and Roundtree's. Both gentlemen lived in York and both were members of the Merchants Hall. Still in a cool dry place out of direct sunlight. Excessive consumption may have a laxative effect so go easy. Packed in a facility which also handles nuts, dairies and gluten. Although it's vegan friendly it is produced in an environment that is not dedicated to a vegan diet or a gluten-free diet. This is 54% cocoa solids. The foil is probably the thickest I have seen on a chocolate bar. Normally the foil on chocolate bars is a bit on the thin side and tears easily. This is so crinkly. If you washed it afterwards very gently, maybe wiped it over with a cloth, you could probably use this for culinary purposes. Now this one is in bigger chunks. So there's six big rectangular chunks. It smells strongly of orange oil. It smells gorgeous. So if you've heard of Terry's Chocolate Orange, that is a York product. This is cute. It's got Wizard's picture on. I don't know whether you can see that. And the logo underneath. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That for me is perfect. I love the orange oil in that. Some people might find it slightly on the strong side. I like it. Again, there's a slight bitterness, but it's a different kind of bitterness from this one. A different kind of bitterness altogether. Whereas the other one was a chocolatey bitterness. This is a, has a slight bitterness from the orange oil. But I love it. And funnily enough, I'm chewing on the opposite side of my mouth. But I can still taste the distinct bitterness from this, differentiated from this one. I think anyone who likes Terry's Chocolate Orange or likes that slight bitter sweetness of a good quality chocolate and a really good quality orange oil would like really like this again it's nice as a gift this one is best before the 21st of the 11th 2025 so again another long sell by date and the packaging is 100% recyclable to be perfectly honest 
I use approved foods and if I could get some of these bars reduced, say they were near the end of the shelf life or there was a job lot going, I would buy these. I really like that. I can differentiate between the two types of bitterness as well. Neither of them are unpleasant. And I've got the bitter taste gene. So if I can eat chocolate, on the one hand that's 74% dark, and on the other hand is 54% cocoa solids, but has the bitterness of orange, then I'm sure others would enjoy it too. This is the last one. Again, it supports Merlin's Magic Wand Charity. This one is caramel chocolate. And this one, I was told, is a milk chocolate. It's got 33% minimum cocoa solids. It's got cocoa butter, sugar, whole milk powder, milk sugar, whey powder, skimmed milk powder, caramelised sugar, honey, soy less thin, natural vanilla flavouring and salt. I'm using soya less thin again as an emulsifier. This then is the last bar. Again, the foil is really nice and thick. Oh, and this one's a caramel colour. This reminds me of the chocolate you used to be able to get years ago called Caramac. It even smells similar as well. It smells quite like white chocolate, which I'm not so keen on, but that Caramac colour. The small squares again. Mm. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. It's not unpleasant. I find this one a bit sweet, though, for my taste. I think I'd have rather just bought a normal milk chocolate. I can taste the salt in it as well. Somebody who has a really sweet tooth and loves white chocolate and caramel would enjoy this. For me, it's a little bit sweet. Again, however, I might try tempering it and see how it comes out. I don't like that gritty texture very much that you get with chocolate that has caramel bits in. The hard candy bit. Mm. I can taste the salt in that quite a bit more. It's got a salty sweetness. It's not entirely unpleasant actually. After a few mouthfuls you get used to it. I think it would make a really nice caramel mousse. Maybe you could do a mousse with a layer of dark chocolate, then a layer of caramel, and then maybe another layer of dark chocolate on top. So score, I would give the plain chocolate, this one, 8 out of 10. I would give this one about 8.2 out of 10. And I would give this one 7 out of 10. That's because for me it's too sweet. But that's really the only reason it's far too sweet for me. I think. Were I to do a chocolate mousse that had a layer of dark and then a layer of caramel, the chocolate mousse would easily get probably 8.5 out of 10. You may be wondering what 
Merlin's Magic Wand is. I had a look on the internet and it's an international children's charity dedicated to creating magical experiences for children who need them most. We do this in partnership with every Merlin's entertainment attraction on the planet through our three magical programmes, Magical Days Out, Magic On Tour and Magic Spaces. And I think that's a really nice idea, especially for a child, say, who has maybe a long term illness or a disability or comes from an underprivileged background. It's fantastic. It's nice to think that you can buy something whereby a donation will be made to a charity that supports children and brings happiness, excitement and wonder into their lives. Therefore, as well as indulging in a naughty treat, you're also helping to give a child a magical experience. And I think that's a really good incentive. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share and if you like my channel, subscribe. Thanks so much. See you again soon. Bye.